if you're just catching up with Where's the Bin, welcome to the Headingley Bat Box, where we've reached what could be a critical moment in the show. It looks as if the cats, the rats and the pigeons are about to try to find a way to open the bin and retrieve the pizza. Uh, what I want to know is, why did that pizza end up in bin? Waste not one not, that's what my granny used to say. Quite right too, Geoffrey, and I'm sure there's an important message here about food waste, but we need to get back to the show because things are moving fast. So this human food that we're all so excited about, what is it actually like? Come on, you're rats, you've had human food before. Of course we have, but the humans have all kinds of food. Yeah, sure, they have the tube of meat in a skin. The sausage. Come on, you must know sausages. The delicious vegetable finger with red blobby vegetable blob on it. The chip and the ketchup. You never heard of chips? And the spongy hemispheres with the grating meat in between and the sad plant leaves. The burger. Come on. You seem to know a lot about the human foods. What does that mean? It means he's a pet. <laughs> he's domestos. It's Greek. What, 99.9% bacteria-free? Yeah, he's a flea lion! Yeah. <laughs> Watch yourself, pigeons. I'm the predator here. Uh, excuse my associates. Um, I'm sure that you have a wealth of knowledge of the human foods. And that being said... Can you tell us what this delicious smelling item of the human foods in this here bin might be? Yes, I can. Uh, is he going to tell us? I think so. Nothing's happening so far. Um, so, uh, what is it? Well, this is the most marvellous food of all the human foods. The most mouth-watering combination of flavours and greases and meats you don't recognise. The humans call it the pizza. Ooh. Ooh. A pizza starts with a soft, spongy circle that the humans call bread. Ooh. Ooh. Bread. bread. They call a lot of things bread, but for our purposes, the circle of the pizza is bread. The bread is soft and hard at the same time, but even that magic is not the most exciting thing the pizza has to offer. Ooh. Ooh. On top of the bread circle are the greatest combination of human foods you can find anywhere. First there is a red paste made from the fruit that the humans call tomato. 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 And this combines with one of the most wonderful human creations, cheese. It looks like nothing. A whitish thing with no shape of its own and a sort of feel of wrong milk. But the taste! Ooh. The cheese is so good that sometimes that is all the pizza has on it. But in this case, I detect the aroma of... Yes! Oh, yes! What is it? Tell us, please! Please, I need to know what is the other smell? Ah, well, that final elusive sort of meat smell is the sort of meat that the humans call the pepperoni. Smaller circles of dark, nearly meat that are full of delicious grease and fatty meat parts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is get to it. Well, my fine feathered fellows, how about we work together to retrieve the goodness from this pit of disaster? We don't have a plan, but I'm sure you two hyper-intelligent pigeons have an excellent idea that we can help with. Do we have a plan, Mick? 
uh, of course we do. <clears throat> Despite our excellent minds, uh, we can't quite seem to fathom how to enter this contraption. However, we do have a super special strategy for thinking of other super special strategies. Do they really? You know, I'm not sure they do. Yeah, they probably don't, do they? Well, if you would all be quiet and let me explain... Oh, here we go. Shh, let him speak. As I was saying, us pigeons have a special feature. We've got bits of iron in our beaks. Do we? Ah, yes, I've heard of this. They're hematite deposits which the birds use to navigate. The iron acts like a sort of compass. Uh, I was thinking, what if we used our magneto reception to try to make us cleverer? Really? That's low, even for you. Shh, that's a great idea. Maybe if we um, mess with the um, stuff inside here, then we'll uh, we'll come up with an idea. Now, let's find some um, um, magnetic things and maybe even some um, zap zaps. Zap zaps. Ah, you must mean electrical wiring. I think the humans threw some out yesterday. Let me have a look. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Look. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Hold still. Is it working? Do you feel anything happening? Uh, ooh, ooh, I'm tired. Yeah, a bit tired. Whoops. Uh, uh. What a shame. Okay. You clip these to the sides of your beak. And, Alley Cat, you put one wire into the battery. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Are you ready? I was born already. <sighs> Completing the circuit in three, two, one. <laughs> Jackie! Are you there? Can you hear me? Have the gods finally released me? Oh. 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 oh well. Hey, Mick. You got any ideas now? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I need to lie down. But I'm a pigeon. Oh, so it's going to be a bit difficult. Oh dear. Me too, Mick. Right, Pack. We're under a tight schedule before the bin robbers come and empty the bins out. Ah, uh, no, we don't talk to those. We we got to get all the win. And those humans, what use have they got for all that rubbish? Beats me. But let's focus on getting into that bin and out again with the rescue victim. Uh, P P I have plans A, B, and C. Always to hatch up those pigeons' eggs will be next week. How do you keep track of that? Have you got some sort of bird incubation calendar? Haven't you? Yeah, enough with the rat traps. Let's hear these plans, Sammy. Uh, I forgot. Oh, well, let's use what we got. What's that then? Our teeth, of course. We can eat our way through. But it's plastic. When have we ever been picky? With the three of us, it will take us no time at all. A any other suggestions? Um, no. no. Right, oh. then. We'd best get to it. I think we'll start here. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Keep it up. It's not too bad. Quite tasty. Dig hard, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have you done? My teeth! The snap! Oh, use your claws then! We have to get in here! Have we broke through yet? No! But my teeth! Oh, I'm getting full! Full? Oh, you're not supposed to eat it! You two are hopeless! Let's try and reach the top. Tell you what, Dean, get on my shoulders, then Sammy, you run up to the top and we can get in that way. But I'm full and very lethargic. 
Oh, come on! You can be even fuller if we get into the bin! It's like heaven in there! Okay, then. Come on, then, let's go. No, wait. Ooh, yep. Ooh. It's useless. How are we gonna get in there before it goes? We need to speak to Alley Cat. He has all the knowledge. Don't tell Business Cat, he'll fall ya. <laughs> Come on then, let's find a C. What's going on over there? Over where? Over there! What do they think they're doing? I know! Two mice and a park bench. I'm pretty sure that's not allowed in Tier 3 lockdown. What's that coffee cups and a park bench? I can never remember. No, not the mice. I mean, over there. You, you don't want to do it like that. You'll fall into the big black... Oh, there. What did I tell you? One of them's a city mouse. But I've never seen the other before. I don't mean the mice. Look over there. They're trying to... Oh, oh no. There it goes again. Oh, them pigeons are total bird brains. And I don't know who got this idea that rats are clever. Rats? Old mouth no tail, if you ask me. Old mouth with no tail? And mouse? What? Chill out, brother. Nothing to worry about. We don't mess with the rats in this city, and they don't mess with us. You're not from round here, are you? Ah, no, mate. He's new here, but he's all right. He's my brother, Country Mouse. Come to see the bright lights, right, brother? But we was just on our way to get some grub. Well, it looks like there's some food in the big black roly-roly thing. And they're not getting it out in a hurry. I mean, what even was that? Couldn't organise a picnic in a cheese factory. What do you reckon, brother? Shall we go and show them how it's done? Well, I was thinking maybe we could eat somewhere a bit quieter with no lights and no fast roaring things with wheels and maybe even no rats. Nah, come on. You wanted to see the city. This is city life, brother. Time to put your money where your mouse is. Eh? What? That don't make any sense. Oh, you're going? Oh. Okay, then I guess I'm going to. Uh, excuse me? Uh, you haven't seen a pile of acorns anywhere under this hedge by any chance? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, oh, what the... No, it's no good. I can't watch. Actually, I can't stop watching. Oh, it, um, it's just that I'm sure it said on my list that I had a stockpile of acorns under the hedge. Or, or maybe the tree. Uh, it, it could have been the tree. Uh, one of the trees. Um, maybe maybe it was the stockpile of Lulu under the hedge. Um, one of the hedges. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, I'll never find them now. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, what's she on about? She's lost her nest egg. She should have kept it in the hedge fund. Is that meant to be funny? I don't know. I don't know what a hedge fund is. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> look, if you're that worried, why don't you just look at the list? Ah, oh, well, well, I would. But there's a tale about that along fluffy tail. Um, you see, last year they said don't stockpile acorns. They said there's absolutely no shortage of acorns and nobody needs to collect extra acorns. So, of course, I thought I'd better get a few weeks worth of acorns in because if they're saying don't stockpile, of course you know there are some stupid animals stockpiling and I don't want to be left without any acorns. But by the time I got there, there weren't any acorns left. It's enough to drive you nuts. So I thought, well, if animals are stockpiling, I'd better make sure I've got everything I need. So I've got my apple stockpile and my loo paper stockpile and my bread stockpile. I, um, I don't eat bread, but they said don't stockpile bread. So you can't be too careful. And, and, and I made a stockpile for the next lockdown and a stockpile.
stockpile for no deal Brexit and a stockpile for the zombie apocalypse and a stockpile for Leeds United getting into Europe because these days, who knows what might happen? And I buried them all round Hyde Park and I thought, oh, I'm going to lose these unless I make a list of where they are. So I made a list saying, the acorns are under the tree, the bread's next to the hedge, all that sort of thing. And I tucked the list away in a really safe place. And, and, and I can't remember where it is. Oh, oh dear. Bin. It's the bin. <gasps> That's it. What? The bin. That's where I left my stockpile list. So now I can get the list and then find the acorn stockpile. And then I've got to move the acorns to where the bread is because I forgot that other thing. And, and yes, 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 it's all under control. I've got a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yes, the bin. Uh, oh, OK, OK. Th- that was weird. I only meant I remembered the name of the big black roly roly thing that they're all trying to get the food out of. It's called the bin. The bin? Doesn't seem that exciting. I don't suppose you had proper food in it. Something to do though, isn't it? Well, we can't do a worse job than that lot. Let's give it a flutter. <laughs>